Hello friends, in this video I would like to show you about Houdini Playpass tool. You can download this tool from my blog rajivpandit.wordpress.com and uh, it's free for everyone. You can just download and use it. Once you download this uh, RAR file or TAR file, it, uh, it contains the OTL file and Python file. So you can put the OTL file in your Houdini OTL path and uh, python file in your python path okay so once you're done with that let's start with some uh, practical demonstration how this uh, play blast tool works inside houdini so to get that play blast tool you can press tab in your scene level and uh, you can find mx studio menu and in that select the play blast tool and it will give you these option also you can use the search function and type play blast and it will give you the play blast tool okay so everything is straightforward nothing uh, complex here like you can just add your fx type or whatever you are working on let's say if you're working on explosion debris dust puff whatever you you just type your uh, fx type here and it will come here uh, it will display in the select type and also whatever whoever user current user is creating play pass the users will display here uh, from here you can start your preview you can make your preview by here and uh, yeah let's start so everything let me uh, first default and let's see how it works so let's say make preview and after preview done it will open you so it's basically similar to that flipbook option which you used previously here but uh, with this you can uh, do a lot of other extra things like you can save the version note for your play pass so let's see i want to add a note on top of that like this is my initial uh, version so with initial version i can say make preview uh, and my make preview is done and let's say for add some more fun we can change the color so in general let's say mantra surface here and just put this change the color to red one okay and uh, go back to object level and here you can create a new play plus like uh, with red and make preview so it will make preview and it will show you that okay this red is done but this time uh, i don't want this grid and other things like perspective cam one these these informations which which is visible in that play plus i don't want i don't want clean play plus okay so no worry you can just dis turn off this display guide and make preview so with that you can get a clean play blast of your scene okay there is nothing no grid and all like so you can close this and uh, in case if you want to see the previously just uh, last you you uh, play plus you created you can just open last preview and it will open the last preview for you okay and uh, you can you can increment and save file also with that so like say if you created this right now my file version is one and it will make preview and after that it will increment and save your file with them uh, but let's let's say what's uh, uh, how this build MOV functions work so by default the these uh, play blast goes in into your where the hip location is like I open my Houdini file from this location so it will create the previews in the same location but these paths are fully customizable you can go to settings and in play blast settings you can change your preview path here so if whatever path you will enter here uh, these path will be taken by the houdini and your play blast will be copied in that folder so it's, it's customizable you can use that but in my case i, I will go with the default so to just just for demonstration so for uh, recently I created these versions and these are the PNG sequences uh, but I don't I don't want this and I want to build a movie so you can just uh, click on this build movie and uh, make preview so it will create the, it's the same thing but in the back end your MOV will will be ready with that so go to the version 6 and here 
everything with PNG sequence I see the MP4 also here so you can just click on that and just play your movie in the player so with that it's creating the MP4 format which is H264 uh, uh, codec uh, so but, uh, uh, but you should have FFmpeg in your system to use this feature and I don't know like if for Windows it's work or not because this software uh, this tool is developed in Linux so for Linux it's it's working fine okay so let's say if you don't want MOV uh, you can just turn it off and uh, my all previews are going in the in a proper version history also so we can see that all the history which I created uh, I can just uh, like see the previous version why this like uh, this version I like that okay and initially version which we have the great like white version I can see also so your all play blast will be saved with with the versions here okay and um, this is your published uh, history right now like there is nothing so let's say if you have like multiple layers in your scene or multiple users are working and if you want to publish your shot uh, so you can just click on this and publish selected so right now I'm publishing three shots and here I have like I, I have publishing version 2 3 and 4 and it's showing me the username and the time who published that and I can see show so it will show me the preview also the published version so you can use this and uh, like find out this version how how you can fit this in your pipeline and uh, don't worry uh, these paths are not hard coded you can you can put your custom paths here and it's very easy to go with this tool and if you want your custom uh, like other tool uh, for visualize your preview you can you choose like in my case i i can use rv uh, to see that like if i want to open last preview and in rv player as uh, so this is not uh, m play so and uh, if if you want djv or any other tool which you have in your pipeline you can use this so let's make it default to the uh, m play and after play blast if you want to quit hoodney or log out your system these functions also fully working uh, i i'm still not sure how this function will work on uh, windows but in linux it will work fine okay so you guys can use this on linux very much and uh, don't worry if you if you don't want to use you can just use this play play blast so that means once the play blast is done it will just play your play blast nothing to extra uh, yes uh, and the quit hoodney also work for for I think Windows user also because this is related to that hoodney uh, Python things okay uh, the other thing uh, which is there is you can use this uh, email notification which is also very like sometime if you're working on fluid simulations and heavy simulations and that takes like hours and hours to make your play blast so you can use this feature so all I all I can do I can just type my my email address here uh, okay uh, not this Rajiv dot VFX at the rate gmail dot com this is my email address and so uh, let's say if I oh, Rajiv dot okay and uh, just go back to play blast and make preview so once you make preview it will show you preview and uh, and if you go to your email it will show you that here the hoodney play blast sent you a email and it will show you that um, that the play blast version of which file is completed at which time and what is the location for that so with that you can easily find notification of your play blast if you are going outside and yeah go to the gym and for swimming you can go and after you come back your play blast will be ready so and you can get the notification with that okay so you can use it according to your needs uh, if you don't want notification you can just turn it off it will not send you even if the mail uh, email address is there but let's say if you type a wrong address it will not send you any email like 
if you make preview it will make preview it will save in your system but it will give you an error that your email address is not valid okay and other than that like uh, if you if you put any if you, if you just turn it off email notification will not work and if you put, uh, put any uh, wrong path for custom like if you enter any path which is invalid so your play blast will not work for that okay so it make sure to, uh, avoid this uh, to uh, put to put wrong paths here all right so yes uh, with that you can go with your uh, previews and check out uh, yes uh, uh, one more thing which i can tell you in this like it's not uh, just uh, just one layer you can you can add multiple layer also let's say if i want to add some new explosion okay so this is my this time i want to add a explosion in that and you can add a note for here like initial explosion exp explosion okay and uh, and make preview so it will create preview and you can notice that your type is also changed to explosion your preview is coming from explosion and at this time let's say if i go to history i can s i can see only the version related to explosion and if i change to effects which we created before we have that much version and if i change it to explosion i can see only versions related to explosion so with that mm, this is it for this tool uh, if you found some more uh, suggestion for that uh, you are most welcome uh, you can send me email and uh, i hope you, you can find this tool interesting and use it all right just bye bye